In this video, I will show you how you can track Facebook ads performance using Google Analytics 4. Uh, it's relatively easy and it might prove quite useful, especially if you consider that Facebook has so many um, problems in correctly tracking ads conversions. Uh, we all know about uh, Apple iOS 14.5 uh, privacy stuff and how users can opt out of tracking, basically uh, removing Facebook capability to serve personalized ads and to track uh, ads results correctly. Uh, Google Analytics might be uh, less affected by this, so it's a good idea to implement such a strategy, but you should also remember that Google will not see all conversions uh, they won't see uh, view through conversions, basically uh, conversions that uh, happened after an ad was uh, just displayed to a user without any clicks on the ad. Uh, Facebook might be able to report this for uh, 24 hours next to the uh, ad view. Uh, and of course, Google will not be able to show you how much money you spend on the ad. So it's just a way of adding uh, some extra help in measuring your ads performance. In order to do so, you need to use UTM tags or URL tags, uh, a small piece of code, code that it's um, glued, appended to each URL you have um, in your ads. It's very easy to do so. There is a tool inside your ads manager that allows you to uh, add URL tags. And let me just explain you how it works. Uh, this is a Google Analytics 4 uh, exploration page where we will create a dedicated exploration to measure um, ads performance. But before you start doing this, you need to make sure that your ads have those UTMs or URL tags I was mentioning. So when you create or when you edit um, an ad, you have this thing right here, build a URL parameter. And this is where you need to add the, um, the data the, the, that will be tracked by Google Analytics 4. For example, I will use Facebook. This will be a catalog because uh, this, this particular ad, it's a demo ad, it's not the real, but anyway, it promotes a product catalog. And, and you can also use dynamic values like a pen name, and here, uh, add set name. Click apply, and once you publish this um, ad, it will use those UTM parameters. And uh, Facebook has uh, an informative, very nice help page. Sorry, Google has this page. It's a Google uh, help section explaining how. Google Analytics 4, GA4, works uh, in regard to UTMs. And uh, we can see that they do track UTM ID, source, medium, campaign, term, but they don't track uh, term, UTM term. It's not reported uh, by Google Analytics 4. They mention here that it's uh, supported, but in fact, they immediately say that it's not supported. Um, not sure why. In reality, I'm not able to track this uh, this term. Maybe it's supported for Google Ads. That's something I need to check. Um, content is not supported. A creative format is not supported. Marketing tactic is not supported. So basically, they support UTM ID, source, medium, and campaign. Now, again, I configured my ads to have those UTMs or URL tags. And now let's go and build uh, an exploration or a custom report to show them. So uh, the first thing I need to do is to look for the dimensions I want to use. Those will be attribution, campaign, medium, source. Is that I will th these uh, dimensions will track the data from UTMs. Mm, I think that's it. Let me see if I have something else. No. Not here. 
I think it's fine. Something on traffic for traffic source, maybe this is useful as well. And I think we're good. And I also need to uh, add some metrics. Basically, I want to track uh, e-commerce purchases, e-commerce revenue, and purchases, purchase revenue. It will be the same thing. Okay. So now I just need to build my uh, exploration or report. Uh, let's say I want to track campaign and now as a value okay purchase and i can immediately see uh, that this campaign generated 39 purchases uh, which is quite nice uh, the data here campaign comes from the utm campaign that i have with my urls um, let's see the revenue generated by those campaigns i just need to drag this thing right here and now i can see how much money this utm related campaign generated for me and so on now uh, i can play a bit with this data for example i can add a new uh, row and i have my source it should be the other way around because source it's a bit higher than campaign. So this is Facebook. This is a new newsletter. I use UTMs with my newsletter. I will show you in a moment uh, and so on. I can ar arrange things differently. For example, I can have them like this with columns. Okay. So I have the source here and then campaign here. So I prefer to keep things simple. I will do something like this. Uh, maybe, maybe with the source here as well. Like this. Uh, and I can show many, many more rows. In this case, I have just 11. Uh, now, as I was saying, Yes, these UTMs can be set up of campaign leg available, but you can also have them with any URLs that you use for uh, anything like newsletters, for example. Go on Google and search for URL builder. You will end up on this page, add your uh, URL right here, set up the URLs, and then you will have a nice um, uh, URL address to use with your newsletter, for example, or uh, affiliate links or anything like that. So. Uh, this is how you can set up UTMs or URL tags and how you can create a report inside Google Analytics to better understand what's going on with your ads, how many uh, purchases they generate, how, may, how much revenue they generate and uh, things like this. Again, you can play with this, drag, drop columns, add more data. Uh, I prefer to keep things very, very simple. Uh, as an extra, Pixel your site also tracks URLs for each uh, order. You can visualize them by editing an order and you will see something like this. Um, okay, so we track the landing page, we track uh, all the UTM or URL tags, source, medium, campaign, term, content, and we also add this. Uh, in uh, the WooCommerce order confirmation page that you get, so not your client, just you as website admin. Um, and if you want to turn this feature off or to turn off the, the feature that sends this data in an email, you can simply go on our plugin and global settings. This is how you can uh, remove that uh, option simply turn this off and save. So this is it. This is uh, how UTMs or URL tasks can help you track uh, Facebook ad performance with Google Analytics 4. Uh, but again, you can use them with other links that you promote across the web. 
Uh, I'm Christian Stachesko from Pixel Your Site. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, watch more videos on our channel. And of course, good luck with your ads.